Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have created this look. I had posted a picture of it on Instagram and a lot of you guys requested it. So here it is. If you want to learn how to recreate it, then keep on watching. And also, if you want to learn how to win these two palettes, then stay tuned at the end of the video. So I already did the other eye off camera and today we will be using the Manly Times Makeup Geek palette and the first color we're going to use is Beaches and Cream with a Morphe M441. So top off the axis and we're going to be using that as our transition shade going all over the crease. After that's all buffed in, we're going to be taking Confession by Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer Palette. And I'm going to be using my Luxie 231 brush just to buff that into the crease. Focus this on the very hollows of the crease. And just build up that color. So just keep going back, topping off the excess, and keep layering it on. back with that Morphe 441 brush and I'm gonna use that to kind of drag the colors upward and blend them at the same time so like always windshield wiper motions and then circular motion now to intensify the crease even more we're gonna be taking Mars from that Manny palette with the same Luxie brush I'm gonna be taking that again in the crease no, you see how it just adds more depth. Okay, now what I'm gonna start to do is kind of drag it down at the same time towards the center of the lid. And then going back with that Morphe and 44 brush, blend those two together and drag it up. I'm gonna be taking Confession and also Mars to drag that into the inner corner, inner corner, inner lid. Using the Tartland and Bloom palette, I'm going to be taking the color Leader, which is a more darker burgundy color here in the outer corner, and then also down here where we drag the colors. Once again, going back with that Morphe M441 brush just to blend them out so there won't be no harsh lines. Taking a flat brush and my concealer, I'll be using that to define the crease. I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever Artiste palette and I'm going to be taking this color right here. This is number 404. Taking a bit of Confession and buffing that into the outer corner just to blend the two colors together. After that's done, I'm gonna be taking China White from the Jeffree Star palette. And I'm gonna be using that as my brow bone color. Dang, these are so freaking pigmented. Using my Morphe M433, I use that to blend Okay, after that's done, take off the tape and look beautiful. I'm going to be using the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Liner. After that's done, I'm going to be using my travel size Tartiest Mascara and just add a thin layer. And after I'm going to apply my falsies, I'll be using Coco Lashes and Queen Bee. So if you have me on Snapchat or any social media, then you would know that I had recently gone to New York. So my skin did break out due to the weather. 
and also you know my bags are just not cute so i'm gonna show you how to color correct i had recently done it on my snapchat and everybody was like doing more death and videos so i was like you know what i'm gonna do the cranberry eye color correcting put them together kill two birds in one eye is that how you say it kill two birds with one stone anyways we will be using the NYX color correcting palette and the first shade I'm going to go into is this salmon color right here. I'm going to be applying this under my eyes where my bags are at. After that's done, use a beauty blender just to press the product into the skin. After that's done, I'm going to be using my RCMA No Colorless Powder. To set that, now you always want to set the concealer because if you don't, then you're basically defeating the purpose and you are going to be meshing the colors together instead of layering them. So we're trying to avoid that. So after you do that, what I like to do is I like to pounce it. That way I'm not dragging the product anywhere. Okay, and then I'll just do the same to the other eye. So, for this pimple over here, we will be taking the green color since it will cancel out any redness. We're just taking a tiny bit. Again, with that translucent powder, setting that bad boy. Okay. I'll be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. Now, what I like to do for the parts that I color corrected is I'll get my beauty blender and apply that right on top of the parts that way I don't drag the product and you can't forget the double chin and again My naked skin concealer in fair i'll be using that under my eyes like always you know the drill after that's done i'm gonna be using my beauty blender now whenever i color correct i don't like blending out my concealer with the brush because i feel like it's gonna the product so I'm trying to avoid that so I'm just gonna be pressing it to the skin after that set I'm gonna use in the same translucent powder to set the concealer To prevent um, the smile wrinkles, what I like to do is I like to set that area also with the translucent powder. After that's done, what I like to do is as I'm taking off that powder, I like to press what I have left. <coughs> Skin. Okay, so like so, I'm pressing it here, dusting it away. Taking my Coco Contour Kit. I'm going to be using the darkest shade and I'm going to be contouring my nose. The closer you put the lines, the more pinched your nose is going to look. And then what I'm going to do is kind of drag that downward. And then I'll repeat the same to the other side, making sure that the lines are close. Using my Beach Cosmetics 129 brush, 
to buff all that out. Using the darkest shade like always. Tapping off the eye clues. Again, using that light shade, we're going to use that to clean the contour. Now that that's done, we're going to be taking my favorite blush at the moment, which is Luminoso by Lani. It's like a coral peachy color and it kind of has an iridescence to it, so it just... It gives you that automatic glow without even adding highlighter. I'm using this Fluffy Real Techniques brush. It's the multi-task brush. So while I was in New York, I picked up this bad boy. The, pack the, uh, the packaging is so cute. Okay, so it comes like this. This is what it looks like. Um, the packaging has a print on it. Um, there's not that many that prints on it, but let me swatch it for you guys. It reminds me of Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this. Now, adding a liquid base uh, highlighter actually intensifies the highlight, and I am going to add it where I would usually put my highlighter. And then to help that blend, I am going to use my beauty blender. So you, as you can tell, it already adds a little bit of glow. Don't be afraid to pack it on. Oh my god, you see how it already intensifies it and makes it 10 times better. I'll be adding high beam to my cupid's bow also. The very tip of my nose. And also the bridge over here. My cupid's bow is glowing. Now, if you really want to be a glazed donut, add a little bit on your chin. And I'm just going to do the same to this cheekbone. So now for the bottom lash line, what we're going to do is take Confession with this e.l.f. angled brush. And just put that all over. Okay, now I'll be taking a random um, eyeliner. To intensify the lower lash line even more, I'm going to be taking this flat brush and taking the color right here, which is Aphrodite. And I'm going to apply that super close to the waterline. Using the lip liner in Plum. Oh, wow. I'm going to be using that to line my lips. lips I am using Copenhagen by NYX now if you mess up in any parts what I like to do is get a q-tip and just clean it up since I did set my whole face with translucent powder I'm gonna be taking fix plus to melt all the product into the face that way it doesn't look dry <laughs> Whoa there. I almost forgot this step, but taking Crystal Avalanche, you guys already know this is my favorite inner corner highlight. I'll be using that. The inner corner is obviously. To set my entire face, I'll be using my Tasha Dewy Skin Mist. So I could look like a beautiful glazed donut. This concludes the look. Now for the giveaway, I will be giving away these two palettes and some more goodies that I will be adding on. So if you want to learn how to enter, the rules are always the same. So if you look at any of my previous posts from any of the giveaways, then you can learn how to enter. If you create this look, then don't forget to tag me. Obviously, I always love to see you guys' recreations and all the products that I mentioned will be listed down in the bar below. And thank you 
so much for watching. Until next time, bye.